Hello everyone and welcome back to another update for the Rust game. This is Blessed5500. Thank you for joining me. What's in this update is something that in my opinion that needed to have happened for quite some time now. And that is the ability for you to be able to share doors. Now the way that you're able to do this is you walk up to a door, you press and hold the E button and it gives you this little menu right here. You can either open the door, you can lock or unlock the door, or you can change the lock. Let's demonstrate the lock. Now the door is locked, that means it's like it normally was back before they did this update. Now we're going to change the lock again. Now it says that the door is unlocked. What that means is anybody has access to this door when the door is in the unlocked state. So we're going to change this back to lock and we're going to go to change lock. What this gives you the option to do is to choose a password. The password has to be at least four digits long as you can see there. You can't just put one, two, or three digits in there, and it has to be a number. So we're going to just put a password of one, two, three, four in. We're gonna click OK. Now what this means is that anybody that you give that passcode to, that password to, they are going to be able to open that door. And you have the ability to change that password just in case somebody else figures it out. Just that simple. Now the only one that's able to change this password is obviously gonna be the person that uh, installed the door all right another update that they did that I think is something that's pretty cool uh, they made it to where you're able to repair these these uh, metal parts now uh, as I, I'm going to demonstrate here we're going to set an explosive charge off now if you've watched my other tutorial uh, they didn't have it to where you were able to repair these with anything low quality metal metal fragments but now they have the option for you to be able to repair it and as you can see, it healed it by 200. Now, it's the same way that you would repair something that is made of wood. You just walk up to it and you have the metal fragments in your hot bar. And you can see that I have them in the number four slot. So I'm just going to push the four repeatedly until it's healed all the way back up to its full capacity. The same thing with the door because it took blast damage from the explosive charge. All right. Now that's healed completely up. Uh, you can do the same thing for metal walls, and you can do the same thing for metal windows. Now, I have already tested the uh, metal bars again. They do not have it to where they take damage yet, so it's best to go ahead and do like you were before. And if you're going to break down this wall right here, just go ahead and put the explosive charge on the window itself because the metal bars, I'm pushing the number four button right now, and nothing is happening. But they did some damage to the metal window whenever I did the explosive charge. And as you can see, I just healed it. All right. All right. And that brings me to the next part of my uh, little tutorial here. And that is the fact that you can do the exact same thing on wooden doors. You have the same options. You have the same password that you can put in. You can change a password. You can put any password that you want for any door. So you could allow somebody to have access to, say, the first room. And if you didn't want them to have access to an inner room, then you could just have a different password on the inner room. Now, the next thing that I want to cover is the fact that they did the exact same thing for gates as well. And as you can see here, you can put a password in for that also. Another thing that you may have noticed is that they have music that plays in the background right now. If you don't care for the music, then obviously you can just go into the options and turn the music all the way down. I thought it was a nice little feature that they added. They changed the way that it sounds whenever you are walking on the grass as well. Another thing that they've added, which I thought was pretty cool, is they've added the option to have a bed. Now you better have 40 cloth, that's 40, cloth and 100 metal fragments to be able to create one of these now i think it's a nice little addition uh, they say that you are only able to put it on something that you're able to put a ceiling on and that makes sense because you can't put a ceiling on a little shanty or one of these little wood huts uh whatever it is that you want to call it and i can show you right here oh, if i can get inside that i'm not able to place the bed anywhere in here all right now you don't have to have a wall as you can see, I can place a bed there if I want to, or which is wide open, and I can do the same thing on a wooden foundation, such as that. The cooldown properties are the same as it was with the sleeping bags, but they did change the timer cooldown on these sleeping bags. And the reason that they did that is because people were bringing a sleeping bag up to somebody's base that they were planning on raiding, putting 
placing the sleeping bag down if they got killed then they would just respawn right there and they were able to continue try to raid that base another thing that they added is i have my grass off here let me go ahead and turn it back on and as you can see the grass supposed to not be as difficult on the processors of the computers it may give you the option of being able to run it now if you weren't able to run it before so guys that's it if you like the video give me a thumbs up want to see more subscribe i'll catch you next time bye for now